Hey everyone, this is a Two Girls One Let's Play of Echo, and we just want to show you the really weird menu screen. Yeah. We were just sitting here looking at this and eyeball. We were like, is, supposed, is something supposed to happen? Like, what? What now? What are we supposed to be doing? Why is there just an eyeball? And then I moved the mouse, and I was like, wah! <laughs> if you move the eyeball to different menus, and ew! The light, the eyeball, like, constricts when the light turns on? Yeah. The iris? Yeah. Okay. No, new game. New game. <laughs> we were starting it to test it. So, let me just move back. New game, three, two, one. It's like one of my vlogs. The flesh and the soul shall enter the palace through separate doors. Only the strong of mind and body will again reunite as whole from the collected All our memories. Songs were about it. A magical place of life without end. A palace of untold wonders. Well, that looks cool. I always like it when spaceships but only are rocks. For the yeah. So our lives were desperately dedicated to qualify. Pinpoint perspective on the great reward. Only, I never wanted to go. Those words alone could mean death. So when I ran, I knew it meant never stopping to catch my breath. If I wanted to live. And so it was. Like organic spaceships look really Here cool. I am. What I wonder is. The place I spent my whole Escaping. Stacey, it's you. Yay. But, like, I wonder if it's just a ship that's so old that, like, the outer hull has been hit with asteroids and shit for, like, thousands of years. <laughs> and that's why it looks like a rock. Of course you do. Your wound has healed. The pain is from the stasis and will pass within a week. A week? The oh. nausea will linger. Probably intensify when you start to realize that more than a hundred years have passed. Well, you didn't... Everything you knew is gone. Oh, no. This guy's rude. This is not another one of your running away from home excursions. Your grandfather won't send someone to pick you up this time. Why? Who's who's this That's rude person? Now. So you decided not to like me. But you've had a century to plan what to say. And that's it? How about... You screwed up the best deal we ever had, or you come waltzing in here giving orders. Or, or even, Buster died because of you, you stupid bitch. I don't like me much either. But I can fix this. No, they're dead. I can bring him back. Hey, we don't know the rules of this place yet, so I can fix I don't it. Know it's how been you hope to achieve that, little miss, but I suggest you start your efforts by laying back down. Looks Loss like of motor skills is common even for experienced long haulers, which I suspect you are not. I suppose you had a long time to mull things over. Nothing I can say will change your mind. She's been sleeping in that dress for like 300 years. It looks like, well, 100. Oh, I thought you said, how long have we been in stasis? 100, 100? years. Oh. A century. Yeah, well, at least we're still wearing a cool dress. So. It looks like we were stabbed, maybe? Or shot in the back? It's like, is there an AI who's mad at us? Or are there people who just like live for hundreds of years? Or I assumed it was an AI. Because he seemed to know things about her. And then, so, hmm. Cool. Just putting my feet up. Mm. Through the cord jungle. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. Well, I put my pot away because I'm polite. It's kind of like when you are in a video game and you're like, why can't I turn off the lights and close the door when I leave a room? I know. People are like, people are like why do you always close the door? I was like, first of all, you don't know what's coming behind you. Mm -hmm. Same all, it's rude. Like when people... Like just walk out of a house <laughs> and leave the door open? 
also like when um you know when you're I guess a kid and living with your parents and they come into your room to tell you something and then they l- walk out and so they kind of like he oh you mean the cube yes I had a very good look at that while you were asleep I think you're in for a disappointment nothing suggests any sentience no interface to access the thing nor any reason to do so there's nothing in there it's just a pretty cube if we knew how to operate it we wouldn't have had to come here this is how i see it you don't answer to my orders and yet you took us this far so clearly i'm not the only one hoping that i can achieve something i can work with that not hope respect for foster god knows why but he wanted me here a stupid lighter proves it I suspect staying wasn't even an option, considering how you stumbled on board covered in blood, demanding departure a week ahead of schedule. Huh. Yeah. Respect, then. That'll work, too. Do not disengage at flash. Okay. I like the uh, guidance thing. Yeah. It's kind of nice. It's not annoying where it's like, beep, 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 beep. And it also, it feels like part of the ship. So. I feel already engaged in what's going on. No. I know. I just want to see what's over here. Don't worry. Like, oh, like, they're uncovering it without it being too, like, it's the year 2130. Like, like too much exposition too fast. Yeah, I like that they're uh, unraveling it slowly, but uh, you're still interested and the atmosphere is pretty good. Yeah. I I'm, I'm can't wait to see other people's outfits because if, if we're, the sneak peek we're getting from her tattered dress. Yeah. Who knows? Maybe there won't be any other people. Oh, I thought you were going to say maybe there won't be any more clothes. Maybe there won't be any other outfits. <laughs> maybe everyone's just going to be people. naked people. I thought, like, that's totally something you would say. It's like, who knows? It might just be naked people. You don't know. That's true. <laughs> we're going to see boobies and dicks mix and matched because it's the future. We're post-gender. So we have N and London. Oh, I was going to say, I hate it when, like, I lived with my parents as a kid and my mom would, like, walk in and tell me something. And, and then not close the door on the way out. But his thing is, she would put, like, the slightest bit of effort in closing the door. Uh-huh. So that was, like, somehow worse. Because it would just kind of, like, swing kind and then still be, like, And totally then not open. shut and then swing back open. Or just, like, not even make it to the point where it was shut and be able to swing open. That's how little effort was put into <laughs> closing it. I'd be so mad. Like, I can't believe this. My yeah. life is so hard. <laughs> it's also funny to me how, like, in video games, like, people never take off their shoes when they enter a house. And I always just think to myself about how, like, my parents would, like, flip out if anybody wore shoes past the mudroom. <laughs> oh, um, I'm wondering. There's a lot of empty space in this spacecraft. Yeah. Well, wonder- this, is, this is a long-haul vessel, so I would assume... That because it's a like a long haul vessel, kind of like in Sunshine, where it's like created with like long term living in mind. But all of this space, there must have been intended to be a, a lot of. Well, the spaceship looks like it could house a lot of people, you know. Also, if it's like a civilization ship, as opposed because if it's going for like a hundred years, this is kind of reminding me of Prometheus with like Charlie's Theron waking up from stasis, and we got you know this blonde-haired lady. Yeah. This is pretty. I like the color palette. Oh. <laughs> I like the color palette of this game. And the art direction. It's just a very, I guess, clean and sharp. I feel like the setting, the way that they created this, designed the spaceship, is designed to give you the impression of emptiness and loneliness. Which is always good to do in a space game. Yeah. So, like, the whole reason that the spaceship is designed to be so big... I didn't say anything but ice. ...is to emphasize that she's alone. I don't know that we can even trust what we see. This 
whole planet eluded detection until about a week ago. No visual cues. No gravitational pull. Nothing. It, then it's not a fucking planet. The exact coordinates. It's clearly some sort of it. giant sentient alien god. We're looking for a pulse. Why am I not surprised? Give it a rest, will you? Can you see any structures on the planet? You're looking at it. It's all one big structure. What the planet. fuck? Oh. So maybe it's well, not a planet. Pulse, though. I'm guessing it's some corporate state's illegitimate mining project from the pre-requisition rush. That would explain the heavy clouding measures. Oh. The planet is most likely depleted of all resources. An empty shell. I hope the old man didn't pay too much for the coordinates. You have no idea. Just get me down there. I'll go see for myself. So we have a cube and now we're at a planet of cubes. Yeah, so I think that they were trying to find something. And that's and like like pay for the coordinates. Like they're looking for some sort of artifact or like the palace or something. And this is where it took. We're trying them. to find the user guide. Yeah. For the cube. The cube. So they're acting as if this is a totally like feasible thing to see. So I think so. Their technology for terraforming and mining must be pretty intense. If they're like, oh yeah, the the planet's made of cubes. And you're like, what? Yeah. <laughs> it's a cube planet. Somebody probably did it, whatever. And you're like, um... You should get off the surface, too. Why? What a strange place. It's impressive, really. Well, how do I get off the surface? I'm enabling the suit's assist mode oh. to compensate for your inexperience. <laughs> this guy is so sassy. But yes, you're right, I don't know anything. What's that? There's something here. It must be some sort of release mechanism. I wish I could look at her from the front so I could look at her outfits, but it keeps... Oh. It's definitely doing something. Ooh. What's this now? Now there's circles on the cube. Hi. Dude. Go to the other circles. Oh my god. So, have you ever seen Cube in Cube 2? I've seen Cube. So, in Cube 2, they kind of explained that it was never meant to be anything. It was just like... A project that just started mm -hmm. and then they were like and then it just kept going and nobody remembered why yeah what if this is cube three <laughs> <laughs> this is like cube three future cube and then she just opens it up and there's like tons of people like cube in it I really liked the original cube specifically because they never like explained why no even in cube two when they explain why it's still not explained exactly but that's what I like about it you know so I would recommend Cube 2. It's one of the few like sequels to an idea that still was good. Whoa. You know what they should have called Cube 2? Cube Cube 2 cubed. Cubed cube squared. Cube cubed. Cubed cubed. Oh no, that's cube squared. Cube 3 cube could be cube squared. Down. Yeah. Wait. What? Did you what? Do? The suit will <laughs> soften your landing if charged sufficiently. And if not, it will stop you from leaping. It will stop me from leaping? Yeah. That's a very convenient... That's a interesting... The suit We're reads your intentions from your synaptic activity and receives commands from your voice or eye movements. A bit archaic, but Foster trusted that suit with his life. Oh, oh that's a really good way. Space travel. The journey here alone made the suit an antique. It's not the suit's performance that worries me. So is that an AI or just old sassy man? Like No, I think it's an AI. Well, I think that's a really good way to make invisible walls canon. We're like, why can't I go over here? Because you can't, because the suit says you're an idiot. Uh -huh. See, it won't let me. That's cool. Well, did, did you press the button? Shut up. <laughs> Can I jump? Let's look around this a little more. Wow, look at all these structures, and this whole planet is just covered with them. Yeah, it's cube three. It's it... A pump. it all looks strangely warped. I wonder how long it's been here. A composite like that should last forever, but it all looks ready to crumble. It must be ancient. How could some how could anything last forever? I wanna know what the science behind that claim is. Oh. 
I don't know. I mean, we have... Technically, nothing can last forever. Like, forever, forever, I mean. This place was made for humans. It's not just a machine mine. Most digs have a basic infrastructure if human presence should be needed. Probably also rudimentary living quarters. Doesn't mean anyone was ever here, though. Grants believe the place to be untouched by humans. A palace built by long-lost technology, patiently awaiting its first human inhabitants. Wow. And you figure this is no more than a bootleg mining operation. Would you appreciate the contrast? I generally lean towards plausible explanations. Your grandfather, well, everything he believed in, he made up himself. I don't know about that. He had the coordinates right. Look around you. This obviously isn't a palace. The old man might have gotten some aesthetic details wrong. But he wasn't the kind of person who'd risk everything without some kind of proof. I really wouldn't get my hopes up. How do I turn down the volume on the commentary track? <laughs> you are overconfident. Immature people often are. You should be taking notes every time I open my mouth. Okay, whatever, Lots of dude. Sass. So I'm wondering, like... <clears throat> it seems as if in this universe... That there might not be alien contact yet and the majority of just space is still colonized by humans. humans. Mm -hmm. I always wonder, like... Maybe one day, even if we don't find intelligent life, we'll go out, see the stars, and then we'll become so... Isn't this where we came from? Yeah, I don't know where we're going. We'll become so um, separated that we'll make, like, our own aliens, like in Star Trek. How, like, all the main aliens are related, and that's why they can fuck. Mm-hmm. Okay, this path leads to nowhere, so I have to go back. I feel like you missed the one that we were supposed to go on. Where? It's right there, isn't it? I went through all the different spots. That one. Okay, I'll go over there. Let me... So do you think this was all built by machines? Well, Because they suggested there... there's a possibility that no humans have been here. Yeah, I assume that for things like this, a lot of people theorize that if we ever interact with aliens, they're probably just going to be machines doing automated work. Like, that were built by other aliens and stuff. Mm hmm And that, like, machines are pretty much the only things that oh. can survive long-term space ah! travel. Slippery. Like, if someone takes over Earth, it's probably just gonna machi be machines doing, like, auto what are whatever. What these structures, then? Have you seen others like them since I was such an expert? I've had my fair share of hauls based on wild speculation. It doesn't matter if it comes from desperate need or delusions of grandeur. There's never anything there but bitter disappointment. Was this with Foster? Before Foster. I got the feeling you two have been together for years. I've been crisscrossing the spur for a thousand years. Foster was with me for a century and a half. So, and he's either an AI or, like, some sort of... No, he's definitely an AI. I, I mean, all indications are that he's an AI. It seems that if he is an AI, it seems like AIs have agency over their own stuff. This looks, like, almost like it was grown. Yeah. Right? It looks organic. Mm-hmm. Like, like the gel from whatever it's called. Soma? Uh, Soma, yeah. The WoW? Yes, the the wow gel. Dude, what if this is Earth post wow gel? Oh my god, that would be so cool. <laughs> They're like, damn, dirty wow buttholes. We're gonna find a butthole at any second, and mm -hmm. we're gonna stick our finger in. And then we're gonna know exactly where we are. Ooh. It's fine, don't That's worry exciting. about it. It's fine. It's just, it's just keep going. Go, 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 go. See, this was obviously created for people, though, because, like, there are stairs and catwalks. If you've only been with Foster for a century and a half, you hardly knew him at all. I mean, we've been traveling together for a century, and we only just met. A hundred-year haul is quite the extreme. Foster's longest was 16. I knew him plenty. He trusted you, and said that I could, too. That you would help me. Foster didn't leave me much choice. 
You don't mess up a job for your grandfather and then team up with the person you were sent out to get in the first place. You could have just handed me back. You really are naive. I think you're doing this because you believe there's a chance to get your friend back. You're so caught up in your homemade religion that you're oblivious to common sense. I warned Foster about you resourcefuls. Best not to deal with your kind. Why did Upper you Uppercase resourceful. Yes. Get involved, I mean. Foster disagreed. And gold makes for a powerful argument. You know what this also kind of reminds me of? It reminds me of like Coruscant, where it's like entirely developed. Mm-hmm. This reminds is the the deeper we go, the more like H.R. Geiger it gets. Who and in case you guys don't know, he is the person who designed the aliens from the alien movies and the concept for Dark Seed, which is a '90s point and click adventure. Um, he also has some pretty good art. If you look up his like inspirations, he, he like would take like creepy ass pictures of his models, like holding the alien heads and stuff between mm -hmm. their legs and stuff for reference. And you can see the post and after, like he'll just have the models like be posing in just the weirdest positions. Yeah, <laughs> with the giant alien penis head. I don't know. His work is pretty. It's pretty cool, and it's different than what else was going on at the time. It's very interesting how it appears to be, like, grown. Yeah, the further down you get, the less... Like, at the top, it it's looks more completely, uniform. like, normal. Not normal, but perfect. And then the further down you go, the more machine buttholes you see. So, just like life. It's also kind of reminding me of, like, Reaper Tech, when they kind of just, like, shit it out on a planet, see yeah. what happens. But yeah, it is entirely possible that humans were never here. Like, they might have, like, companies who just, like, tell them to ship out, like, seed machines, and out of the local resources they make this, but... There must be a way inside them, though. That looks like some kind of landing bay. It looks like nothing of the sort. You know, you're nothing like I expected from a friend of Foster's. Such an odd team. An old rescue vessel from the Requisition and a man without a past. None of our marks knew what hit them. And then we were gone. <laughs> the stuff we pulled off. You wouldn't believe it. I believe it. I was one of your jobs. A thieving rich kid with a gambling problem hardly qualifies. I got the brief. Not much of an extraction, really. No one giving a shit about you where you dug down. Only challenge Foster could see was that your grandfather wanted you to willingly hand back whatever it was you stole from him. You're wrong about everything. Even Foster. I seriously doubt that I am. He was good, Foster. Always had his eye on the ball. You may think you knew him, that he felt sorry for you, but he would never let that happen. I don't know what went wrong that night, why Foster died, but I'm sure you don't understand much of it either. Sorry, I didn't mean to threaten your romance. Cute. So I'm guessing maybe the AI was in love with Foster, or maybe Foster was his, like, biological companion. Kind of like in um, Halo, where Cortana, Cortana and Master Chief are connected, because you get a chip installed. And yeah, that's but why he's Cortana's but he hasn't wasn't just with Foster. He's been around for like yeah, maybe he like changes like you know when his bio friend dies, he'll like go on to a new one or something. Yeah. Or maybe he's just like loves to chill. I don't know what the rule. I wonder like what kind of like universe where it's like we're post like AI oppression they're just people now that's kind of cool yeah or at least well, I hope so I don't know about that because like if that were the case then presumably well I don't know I otherwise I would expect the AI to just be off on their own and not tagging along with somebody that they hate I won't know because remember the AI said that it wants to revive Foster that's what she said yeah, but he just said it, too. Like, he's dead now. I want to bring him back. Yeah. Well, whatever. Either way, she's implying Finally, that they were something. in love. 
or something, you know? It's stuck. I need some force. Does the gun pack any punch? I can't open it. I'm gonna shoot it. Wow. I like it. I'm taking the gun offline to preserve energy. <laughs> Ooh. Into the butthole. Are you intrigued? By the butthole? I'm intrigued by the, the idea that this AI was in love with a bio thing of some sort. Hopefully it's a gay AI romance. I feel like when somebody would have said something if that was the case. Cause this what was... the fuck is this? Sorry, go ahead. I mean, because this was recommended to us by several people. I feel like somebody would have mentioned that part, but... Are you getting all this? I'm with you. Weird. I like it, though. 